Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. It's your boy Style on One, as you always know, and uh, I am here again with another episode. As you always know, we are still working hard, but day and night, to see that we have changes in Africa throughout the continent. We are speaking. Let's send our voices out so that our voice can be heard by our government. Let them know that the youth want, want uh, freedom and liberty in the continent. So today I am here about uh, to speak about Sudan, the crisis, the problems that are going on in Sudan right now because we all know the political issues that are going on in Sudan right now is also something that is a concern for all Africans. So please make me a favor, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for more videos. So this is the message that was being released about Sudan, the political parties forming an alliance. The message reads, I quote, Sudan faction form new alliance as split depends. The ceremony include political parties. The Sudan Liberation Movement, led by Mini Menawi, and the Justice and Equality Movement of Gibril Ibrahim. Several political factions, including ex rebel groups, have announced the formation of an alliance separated from Sudan's main civil, civilian bloc in the latest sign of split marrying the country's transition. The announcement on Saturday at the ceremony in Khartoum came as Sudan released, released from fragmentation within the forces of freedom and charge. An alliance that spearheaded protests that removed President Umar al-Bashir in April 2019. Sudan has since August 2019 been run by an administration of military generals and civilians from the FFC through a rocky transition marked by economic war. Split have deepened within the FFC in recent months, and support for the transitional government led by Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok has won in large part due to a raft of tough economic reform. Saturday's ceremony includes political parties as well as the Sudan Liberation Movement (SLM) faction led by Mini Manawi, Jim of Gibril Ibrahim. We want a united FFC, Minawi said during the ceremony. We owe the people on your side who pretend they are from the FFC to sit with us and listen to us, he added, addressing the head of Sudan's Sovereign Council, Abdel Fatih Ab Al, Al Burhan, and the Prime Minister. Hamdok did not attend Saturday's ceremony. In early September, he was at the signing ceremony for an alliance of other factions with the FFC that also called for unity, calling it a step in the right direction. Neither Minawi nor Ibrahim took part in the signing. In October last year, Minawi's SLM faction and Ibrahim Jem were among rebel groups that signed a peace deal with the government to end the long to end the long-run conflicts under Al-Bashir. Minawi was named governor of West, Western Sudan, ravaged Davo region in May, while Abraham was appointed final minister last February. On September 21st, the government announced throwing a coup attempt by military officers and civilians who is said were linked to al-Basir's regime. The country has been grappling with protests in East Sudan by key tribes opposed to, to the October peace deal, have also erupted in big cities, including Khartoum, condemning the military coup attempt and calling for civilian rule. As you all heard this message, this is what we are saying. And uh, we have to make sure that we stand for Africa. The corruption that is going on in Africa. If you see all these coup d'etats are happening in Africa, 
Why? Because the people who are there are not taking the thing serious, are not taking their work serious. Because the citizens and other people are now tired to be seeing things that are horrible for the African nations. So we as the youth have to come together and make sure that we drive all the greedy and selfless, selfish politicians outside our government sectors. Without doing this, we will never be in peace in our own continent, in our own countries, in our own communities, town villages. Just because of what? Because of the way we are being governed, because of the way we are being treated, especially civilians. When they are looking for power, they can say any sweet kind of word just to get you, just to take your attention, just for you to believe them that they will do what they are saying. But let them come to office, you will see a different case. So Africa, we have to be very careful of how we select our leaders. Because now, I am seeing, we select our leaders by whom you know or by who is part of your life, or by who is part of your tribe or religion. This is a, these are the only things that are taking us behind. Sudan have been in so many crises. We have all, even we were not born that time, but we all have had the history and so many things also happen in, during our present too in Sudan. So we call for peace in that beautiful country. It's a young country that is healing and they should also maintain that to continue. They have been through a lot. They have passed through a lot in that country. So peace should reign in that country. Politicians should not create violence in that country because it's not helping, it's not good. So we are calling for peace. Let the politicians do their politics in a decent way and a good manner to help the citizens. Because when there is no peace in the political arena, there will be no peace in among the citizens. There will be always conflict. Only this kind of their problems makes many youths, many people become angry and go and join a group that you know is not good for a country. So these are, there are these two political parties who join together to form an alliance. That is the, uh, that is Minimonawi and, uh, and uh, uh, Abraham, Gabriel Abraham. They joined to form alliance. And these were former, former, former members of rebels who have been given positions in office in the government sector. We said this when soldiers took over office. Most of them, especially in Africa, most of them don't want to return to civilian rule, and that should be their main objective, if they say that they are defending the country, they should return civilians, uh, offices to civilians to rule. Let them continue what they are doing to defend their people. But no, they will not do that. They will clinch on power to be there, to be dictating people to do things that they shouldn't be doing. So we beg you all, please maintain peace decent politics, move forward, better Africa, we develop Africa, we move Africa to an order level. Thank you very much once again for watching. It's your West Style One. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.